All right, now that we have uh, Easy Digital Downloads installed and we change the slug and all the labels to themes, what we need to do now is create a page template for our products. So right now, if you view a product, you'll notice that it just uses the default single layout for whatever your theme uses. So what we need to do is create a single page layout for the downloads. So if you go to Easy Digital downloads.com go to support documentation under advanced here there's this article for template files for download product pages so you can read through this and it's pretty much what I just said easy digital downloads uses single.php and if you create a single dash downloads template then it'll start using that one so that's exactly what we're going to do so I'm going to go to my theme files here and if you see here that this is single and the theme that I'm using uses this get template part content single so that means when this file is open it displays all this content and then once it gets to this tag it goes and grabs content dash single which is right here content dash single so not only do I need to duplicate this but I also need to duplicate content dash single so let's first start with this one I'm going to file save as, I'm just saying it, save it as single dash download, save file, and then content single, I'm going to also file save as content dash download. So now in our single dash download we need to change this content dash single to single dash download save that so it's exactly the same so if we reload the front end it's obviously not going to do anything but just to make sure it changes I'm going to remove this posted in an author because I don't really need that in my downloads so content that's the, in my theme this entry meta so what I'm going to do is just delete that and now I'll just have the title and the content it's pagination and then this footer it just has an edit link so let's save that reload and you'll see that my post meta went away cool so now that we have a custom template we can make it however we want so for example I want to use a different sidebar for my single downloads I don't want to use the default sidebar on every page so I'm gonna go create a new sidebar to use so you can see here in single dash download that it's getting this get sidebar and if you actually go and google this you can you can give this whatever sidebar you want you can give it a name see right here so we just need to create a new sidebar so in my theme files, I think this is under, um, let's look under functions real quick. Yeah, here we go. So here's all the sidebars that are getting registered. So I have a regular sidebar, I have one for the form, and I have several for the footer, four for the footer actually. And I have a contact one, and then I have a register one. So I have a lot of different sidebars. So what I'm going to do is copy this. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I just noticed that. All right, copy that and put it right below here. And instead of register, I'm going to do download. You can name it whatever you want. But that's what I'm going to call it. Download. And you can change these to, you know, of course, be whatever you want. So it wraps before the title before the widget for example so let's save that now I created it back in my single download I just need to give it that name which in this case is download so now this is going to be looking for something called download or sidebar dash download and you'll notice over here that I have several different sidebar files and if your theme only has one sidebar it still should include this uh, sidebar.php and then you see that I created several different ones. So I'm going to, you can copy just your default sidebar if you want. Mine has some extra stuff in there. 
but yours probably won't. This context is pretty uh, bland one that I can copy pretty easily. So I'm going to file, save as, sidebar, dash download, save that file. And this is going to be looking for that new sidebar that I registered in the functions file. So right now this is just looking for the widget areas that are assigned to this sidebar area in our dashboard. You can put whatever content you want in here. Like for example, I could put, you know, a header tag or something. And put download sidebar. Save that. So again, now that I have this saved as sidebar dash download in my single dash downloads file this get sidebar is going to be looking for anything called sidebar dash whatever and in this case it's sidebar dash download so I need to create that file called single or I'm sorry sidebar dash download so now when I reload my front end of my site you'll see that it's gone and nothing's there so if we go into appearance widgets You'll see that I have this downloads area now, and I can add whatever I want to it. So, title, widget area, save that, reload, and there you go. You see that this download sidebar only appeared because in uh, the sidebar dash download. So it has to be active in order for this to show up. So you can see that that H1 tags here and then we have title and widget area. So let's remove this. Save that. I reload. And there you go. There's your custom widget area and your custom page layout. Again, you can, you know, change the markup of this however you'd like. And if you actually if you're in Chrome, you can right click go to inspect element and you can see here how it's currently what the code currently looks like so it's wrapped in h4 tag and my style sheets are giving these styles over here so you know I'd probably customize this a bit to match my theme so that pretty much goes over how to create the single download page template in the next video we'll actually go into customizing the markup a little bit and arranging things on the page